When is a Bloody Mary not a Bloody Mary? When it's a Caesar. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. In the past, we've looked at the Bloody Mary and the Red Snapper, both tomato savory style drinks. There's another drink in this family that you may have heard of, but you may not have had it. It's called the Caesar. It's from our friends up north in Canada, and it's extremely popular out there, but I really don't see people are ordering it elsewhere. Let's take a look. Now, apparently this drink was invented in 1969 by Walter Chell in the Calgary Inn in Calgary, Alberta, in, in Canada, of course. Um, he wanted to make a special drink and he spent quite a while perfecting the recipe. Uh, he ended up with a recipe that was one, two, three, four in making it. He started off with one shot or an ounce and a half of vodka. That was the one. The two was two dashes of Tabasco sauce. The three was three dashes of salt and pepper. One, two, three. One, two, three. The four was four dashes of Worcestershire sauce. One, two, three. Four. And then lastly, he added Clamato juice. Now, this is basically tomato juice with clam nectar in it as well. Um, it's rather unique as a you know, proprietary product by this company. Um, so it's not like a generic tomato juice you might find from Campbell's or, or your local Safeway or whatever. Um, so that might be one of the reasons you don't see it much because Clamato is not going to be a common ingredient found in many bars. Now, before I mix this up, let me prepare the glass. Uh, the glass is going to be uh, a pint glass, a flute glass, you know, something big and tall like this, that we want to take and add celery salt to the rim. Now, here's one of the important aspects of rimming a drink that I think is important to remember. The idea is not to get the ingredient on the inside of the glass, but the outside only. We're going to take a lemon and wet the edge of the glass with lemon juice. Uh, it's important to notice that this drink didn't really include lemon juice in the recipe at all. I'm using lemon juice just on the outside like this. Now to rim it, rather than taking and sticking the glass into it, which is going to add the lemon juice or the, the spices on the inside as well, I'm just going to take a spoon and knock it over the outside. So all we have is spices on the outside of the glass. Knock off the excess. Make a slight mess on my table here. Then we're going to ice the glass up. And we're going to ice the drink up. And as is commonly done with a Bloody Mary and a Red Snapper, we're going to roll this drink rather than shaking it or stirring it. Then we're going to strain this into our prepared glass. I'm going to take a lemon and cut a wedge and slice up the edge like that and add that as a garnish. Again, this can be one of those drinks you can take and add a wild set of garnishes yourself, whether it's celery or asparagus or green beans or avocados, who knows. Uh, but the aspect is making sure you're getting the drink with Clamato juice without any lemon juice added and adding all the other ingredients you might do with a Bloody Mary or a Red Snapper. Let's give this a try. Now the 
celery salt on the outside is going to take and add an initial hit when your tongue when you're drinking it. Uh, sometimes you want to take and maybe work your way around the glass as you're drinking it. Sometimes you want to focus on just one spot, so it's just that first hit you're getting that salt hit, depending on what you like drinking. That's got a wonderful savory flavor to it. I think the Clamato juice, I personally love, um, just on its own. And so in a drink like this, it really takes and adds that nice little spectacular flavor. That's a little bit different than you're not expecting in a Bloody Mary. So next time you're out and you want something a little bit different than a Bloody Mary, see whether your bartender can make you a Caesar.